Drew Brees intercepted. A takeaway. It's Clover Quinn. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Turn Over Friday. Yes, and today we're talking the world famous. Well, I don't want to say that much, but we're talking the anticipated play that you guys have been waiting for, the interception of Drew Brees. How did we do it? How did we trick him? How did we fool him? The great Drew Brees. Yes, we're talking about it here in the DB room. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that we want to do, let's talk about the, the possession, the time of the game, okay? It's three minutes and 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's third and nine. We can see that right there. It's third and nine, okay? So let's get into it. First thing first, okay? Everybody talk about how did we trick Drew Brees, okay? So I want to say we tricked him, but we did switch it up on him, okay? So in this particular um, play that we're running. We're playing what we call one hole, okay? We're playing one hole. We've covered cover one, and then I cover one that we covered. We had a middle linebacker that was basically playing the hole, okay? In this coverage, we have one of our safeties that's dropping in to cover the hole, okay? Some defenses call it one robber, all types of things like that. We used to call it one hole, okay? So let's talk about it. In this defense, I am the free safety. James Ehedebo is the strong safety, okay? So for 90% of the plays, James Ehedebo lines up to the tight end side and I line to the open side, okay? That's for 90% of the plays. If we're playing any kind of man-to-man, -man, Diggs is down on the tight end, I'm to the middle, okay? If we're playing any kind of cover three, Diggs is to the roll-up side, I'm to the side of the... This, the person is going to be in the deep middle, okay? If we're playing any kind of two high zones or whatever, for whatever reason, Diggs go to the tight end side, he plays the two high, and then I go to the open side and play the two high, okay? So this is what we did, okay? We switched it and, and covered one hole because technically Diggs would be up here being a drop-in guy, and I would have been the one going back, okay? But we made a quick switch. I asked Diggs if I could take the drop in. He said, yes, thank you, Diggs. And so this is how it turns out. So to Drew Brees, it looks like a normal play, normal lineman. This is what he's seen all game. Diggs to the tight end side, me to the open side, okay? That's what he's seen all game. So to him, that's normal, okay? So now let's go to the offense side. Let's look at their formation, okay? They're in a almost bunch, right? You can almost see them bunched up down here. Okay, and then they got a receiver tight up top. Okay, so all their guys are in tight. It's not a real vertical set. Okay, we said it was 39, so you got to know the Saints in our offense. Okay, let's take a look at this right here. Okay, look at this tight end. We talked about the tight ends being in a grave digger. They're in a grave digger. They're probably not going vertical, right? Well, let's take a deeper look at it. This is not even Jimmy Graham. It's a blocking tight end. So now we know, okay, that guy's not in to catch passes because if they wanted to throw him the ball, they'd have put Jimmy Graham in, okay? Let's look at these other guys. we got Marcus Colston right here in the slot, right? Marcus Colston, if you remember, that was Drew Brees' favorite possession receiver, okay? Get first downs for him. He's basically a big tight end. Got Lance Moore down here. Lance Moore, another possession wide receiver. Not really a vertical threat. The only vertical threat they got in the game is Brandon Cooks, but... Brandon Cooks is in so tight to where if he goes vertical, he's basically running right to the middle safety in the first place. So not really worried about Brandon Cooks, okay? So that's a little few observations for you right now, understanding, okay, who's he going to try to go to? Probably going to try to go to Marcus Colston to get the first down. That's what he's going to try to do, okay? So this play is... Our corners are playing outside leverage. Everybody's playing outside leverage. Why? Because we got the drop-in safety that's basically playing the hole, okay? And when we do that, our job is everything inside of here. They want to funnel all these routes inside 
to the low hole guy. And we always drop in away from our nickel. So our nickel is here. Safety drops in away from the nickel, okay? That's how we play one hole. Or like I said, in some defenses, they might call it one robber, okay? So let's look at the play, okay? Let's look at the play. So the play comes out. So now, what does Drew Brees see, okay? What does he see? He see Diggs going high, okay? And he see me square, key point. He sees me square. So what does Drew Brees think? He doesn't think we're in cover two man because if, he, if we were, I would be going deep to play the half, okay? So he thinks we're probably playing some, some form of cover eight or however you, you want to call it, but playing cover two to one side and then cover four up top, okay? And if you look at his route concept, it's exactly what they thought we were in because this guy released inside up top. When he releases inside and in cover four, he's basically saying, I'm taking this guy, and he knows this guy has any inside breaking routes. So when he releases inside, he's trying to take both of, both of us, okay, to occupy the backside safety, okay? This guy's coming out here, basically doing nothing, and they're knowing, they know that they have this guy one-on-one -on -one in the slot because the backer, is gonna be on this tight end, okay? They know that from their film study, okay? So what did we do? We showed them exactly what they wanted to see. I stayed square on the backside, giving the look of cover four, okay? Diggs is high, giving the look of some form of cover two. So Drew Brees knows I got middle field open, right? Cover two, cover four, middle field open. That's where they want to attack, okay? So. I slide in and notice how I'm staying square, okay? A lot of times you'll see DBs, they'll just take off running across the field. Quarterbacks can see that, they can feel that, they know right now they're in a robber, okay? They're gonna play it as cover one. But by me staying square, it gives the look of cover four. And so now he doesn't know, okay? He doesn't know. We get good pressure up front by the D line forcing him to step up. Drew Brees is a shorter guy. So he's looking at me initially. We'll show you in the back view. He's looking at me initially. Then he kind of loses me, okay? Well, I know that's the only place that he has to go, okay? That's the only place that I'm worried about him completing his pass. So I don't play it right at the stick. Look how much room I give myself. Why? Because I don't want to be stationary like this when the ball is coming, I want to give myself some depth and the an angle so I can be breaking downhill because the ball has to travel as well, okay? So I give myself some room because I know he got to go nine yards. No needs of me coming down here. He's not throwing it down there, okay? So I give myself some room. We get good pressure. Drew Brees steps up. When he steps up, I put my foot in the ground, come through, and make their interception, okay? Let's look at it from the back view. Look at it from the back view, okay? You can see right now, Drew is looking right at me. He's looking right there to check me out, okay? If I come running across right here, he knows right now that we're gonna be in cover one. He's probably gonna work backside to Rasheen Mathis and Brandon Cooks, okay? But the fact that I stay square, now he thinks I'm in cover four and I'm the inside defender for this guy running this little inside route. And then what does he see? He sees this guy beat his man to the inside, okay? He peeps me, and now he knows I'm working the middle of the field, okay? He comes back, right? Comes back. Now we got pressure. Now he can't see me. These guys are in his way. He can't see me right there, but guess what? I can see him, okay? I can see him and I know where he's going, okay? So look at this angle right here. Look at all this space and look how far I am. This guy looks open, okay? I want him to look open. I want him to feel like he can throw the ball, okay? So when he steps up, that's what he sees. Now he's getting ready to throw it, okay? Boom, I put my foot in the ground. 
and now I'm right downhill on it, okay? Let's take a look at that one in fast motion and watch the footwork, okay? Stay square, right foot in the ground, downhill. Square, right foot in the ground, downhill. Efficient footwork, we can't waste steps, okay? Let's take one more look at it from this other back angle so you can clearly see it, okay? I want you to clearly see this, okay? So now, it's the TV copy, right? This is Drew Brees. He's looking, right? He saw me already. I'm square. Now he's peeping the middle of the field. He knows middle of the field is open. This is where he wants to work. They send this guy to the flats to clear him out, okay? So now he know I got Marcus Colson one-on-one. I trust Marcus Colson. I've won Super Bowls with Marcus Colson. That's been my guy. That's where he want to go. As a defender, you have to know that. You have to know offenses and know where he wants to go with the ball. It's going to help you, okay? Especially in crunch time. He's going to Marcus Colston, okay? So he steps up. He can't see me now. You can see it right here. He can't see me. He can't see me. He just know from his, from his film study, they're in cover four. Boom, he's gone. The middle of the field is open, and I see Marcus Colston has won. Here we go, right? He steps up. Like I said, look how I'm square. My hips aren't turned. My weight is down. I'm in position and ready to break, right? Ready to take this angle, this angle downhill to intercept the ball. I don't want to go this way because he's going to run past me. I'm going to go downhill okay safeties we want to break downhill so we can make plays on the ball okay so I may mean, I put my foot in the ground off the break and boom downhill for the interception okay so that is kind of how it happens okay we switched up we showed Drew Brees exactly what he'd been seeing all game Diggs going to the tight end side me going away from the tight end side what does he think okay if Diggs is not coming down to cover the tight end, they must be playing some form of cover two to that side, cover four to the back side. Brandon Cooks come, runs an inside route to try to eat up both of us. They send a tight end to the flat to clear out the middle, and he's working Marcus Colston. Little do he know we're playing one hole and we're coming in from the back side. I did a good job of staying square and not running across the field, showing the quarterback that we were in some type of hole, Stay square, knowing that the receiver had to go at least nine yards to get the first down, and the rest is history. He threw it. I made the play. One of uh, my best plays. Let's take a look at it one more time. Enjoy it. Peace out. This was another episode of Turn Over Friday. Peace. Drew Brees intercepted. A takeaway. It's Glover Quinn. Glover says, call me Glover. The glove, if I get an interception, and he runs it back inside the 15 of New Orleans. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Chris. Credit George Johnson over here at right at defensive end. Great this pressure. We know that Drew Brees will not take sacks, tries to force this ball, and you saw Glover Quinn reading his eyes the whole way. Look at that. Reading his eyes the whole way, waiting for this ball to come out. What a huge play for this Lions defense. A 23-yard return, and Quinn said, I watch the eyes of Drew Brees. Never mind who or where he's throwing to. His eyes will dictate it.